Hello, I'm doing a quick video to show you the lovely project kit called Incredible Like You. Um, this is my class for next Friday and the kits are arrived and I'm trying to get them all prepared. So this is the way the kit will arrive but I'm going to do a wee bit of preparation ready for you to come. And I want to show you one of the cards in this video and then we'll get through to another one. Uh, I've divided them all up into their envelopes. Each will have every bit that it's that's needed inside. So you're just going to be doing stamping and sticking with that. You also get your packet of dimensionals, a wee packet of these pops and a wee packet of the rhinestones. And I'll have ink pads there for you to use, which will be the ones that are recommended with it are a perfect match are Grapefruit Grove, Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana and they're beautiful colours and they just will match perfectly. You also will get um, your oh, I always forget what you call this Becker's Twine in Grapefruit Grove which matches all of the cards each of the envelopes have these lovely stripes so they're really posh really good quality envelopes so we're going to start making this one here in particular just to start us off today I'm going to go with um, Grapefruit Grove because I think it matches it really well so for this card you have the lovely wee bubbles already stamped. You get this as, as an overlay for it, which you're going to glue on top. But you need to make sure that you line it up. You have two bubbles at the top here. And if you put it the other way, it's not going to match. It's going to be all higgledy-piggledy. So make sure you get that. And it's going to line up here. Nice and simple. And you have a wee backing sheet in stripes. And a few other wee things in there. We have a circle for doing our stamping on, which has a lovely silver uh, foil on it. And then a lovely piece of this green glittery uh, card. Now, the stamp set, which you can buy yourself if you like. If not, you will. If you're coming to the house, you'll be able to use this. And the one that fits that particular one is I Just Adore You. But I'm going to have a variety of stamp sets there for you if that doesn't suit you. I'm going to go with that today just to show you the finished item. You also get your wee... Uh, leaflet that shows you each ind individual card you know made up so you can just follow along with it there is no instructions but you don't really need them and you're going to have this video to go back on if you get stuck hopefully we'll make one of each of the cards that day if we have time we'll definitely make more but we'll start with this one um, to stamp you're going to need a glass block these are great you get them in different sizes and they're handy for different sizes stamps obviously and your ink pad of course so I'll do a bit of stamping first and this one is a just adore you so just stamp it up and just place it in the middle of your circle and there you have it I just adore you so we we'll need to um, do all this up. So I'm going to use a uh, wet glue, which I'll have a couple of these with me on Friday when you come. And we're just going to start. We know this is the way it lays, so we want to turn it over and put a rim, just a nice rim of glue, not too much, just a wee line of glue around your edge so it gathers and sticks. You can also go around a couple of wee circles. Just don't put too much so it doesn't ooze out of your card. Just so it's getting a good grip. I'm just doing the bigger circles. These kits are absolutely beautiful. They make very, very nice cards. With very little effort, but people will be impressed. and They'll be happy to receive one from you, I'm sure. So, it's a good starting point for a new stamper. And it's also a great leverage point for somebody that's well into stamping so line that up over your lovely wee um, colours underneath here just don't put it fully down until you're happy with the position and then just press it down if you get anything which I always do just use your wee remover I'll have that there that day too, so you'll be able to use it. So just simply set it on top, and it already is so effective. So we want to do our layers now. 
this layer is going to go maybe here just over the edge i'm going to do it exactly as they're doing it in the picture and then when, once you've done that once for the next ones you can change it up a wee bit so just add a few dimensionals so you get those in the packet so use away at them and we'll just put that on first The colours are just so lovely and spring, summery nearly. So I'm going to keep it down towards the bottom just. And then we're putting this one on. If you wanted to make that stick out a wee bit further, you can actually cut it in half, which I don't think I'm going to do today. And I'm just going to put it on flat. So I'll put a wee bit of wet glue. And I'm going to pop it out the side a wee bit more. Because your circle's going to cover it anyway. Just makes it a wee bit bigger looking. Just bring it to the edge of your card so it's not, and try and line it up with the other one. Oops. And then this is going to just go over the top of it. So we'll put a few dimensionals on here again. And if you lay that on top, you'll see where your dimensionals should go so that you're not going over the edge and they won't uh, stick. And of course, be careful with that old glittery card. Glitter doesn't like to be stuck to. So what I recommend is the two pieces that are going to stick to the glitter, put a wee bit of wet glue on them as well, and it gives them a wee bit. You can also scratch away wee bits of the glitter like that, which will give you a wee base to catch. makes a mess that's all <sighs> now work out which two you're going to be over the right so these two just put a wee dab of glue on them and pop them on and hopefully that'll hold nicely now they have circled um this around like this i don't particularly like it so i'm just going to do a wee bow that's entirely up to you, your own taste. That's the whole fun of card making. It's just do what you enjoy. And it'll come naturally to you. There won't be any fuss and bother. Just make up bits and pieces. If you, if you tear a bow and say, no, I don't like the bow, go back to circling it round or just put a wee bit in or open it out. The baker's twine can be loosened out. Oh, it's sticking to the glue of my fingers. A wee rough bow there. And that'll just sit on the top there. I think it's it's much nicer. No, it's it's nicer to me. I'm not saying you do it because. And to stick that on, I would just use a wee bit of that glue. A wee dab and just make sure and give it time to stick. It will take a wee while to stick because it kind of soaks into the fabric. A Chiba Yuhu glue is actually very good for ribbons and bows. It sticks much better. So I'll trim that off whenever it dries. And I'm just going to add one or two of the wee. Oops. Pokey tool is another great tool to get. This is not Stampin' Up's Pokey tool. I've had this for years. When it goes, I'll get one of the Stampin' Up ones. But in the meantime, it's doing the job. So why replace it so i'm going to put one if i stick it in there i'll want to cover them all so i'm going to put it offset you know that it's not really part of the design i'll just put another wee one down here just to add a wee bit of pizzazz so there you are that's that one done so quick so easy now if you wanted to you can Get yourself a piece of Grapefruit Grove uh, to fit inside and then mat a piece of um, Wisp of White and then just stamp your uh, sentiment for inside. Or you can just go onto the computer. Um, I use a program, oh, it's we, um, Verse Editor you call it. It's really, really old. But that's where I store all my verses. So I can just open it up and it gives me all the, the sizes 
uh, put your verse on the right side and then when you print it off you have a, a double opening verse and you can still stamp to the one side on your verse sheet just ordinary copy paper I use uh, about 90 grams weight so what do you think first one done in seconds you'll have these done in no time girls and you really will enjoy them and as I say do one of each and when you bring them home add to it I let you stamp all the sentiments before you go if you have no stamps you can do that and decide on the colours when you're in just do all your stamping so when you go home you just have to make up the cards so number one done I'll come back with another video for the next week card I hope that's helpful bye